today I want to share with you some very, very easy, simple, delicious plant-based recipes. Now we've got things like really easy to make falafels, tabbouleh, sweet peppers, hummus, essentially just a whole bunch of plant-based sides that when you bring them together, you're going to make delicious Buddha bowls. Whether you want to make a Buddha bowl yourself or you've got any picnics, barbecues, link ups, parties where you would bring a side, these would definitely be perfect to bring. Super simple, super delicious, using just plants and yeah. Let's get straight into the video and I really hope you guys enjoy these recipes. So I'm adding two cups of water to the pan. I'm gonna put it on the stove and bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna add one cup of bulgur wheat. It cooks really quickly and when it's done, it turns into a really fluffy texture. Then I'm gonna slice up some mint, some fresh coriander, AKA cilantro and some fresh parsley. Then I've got some really sweet cherry tomatoes which I then cut into really small pieces. as well as some fresh cucumbers, trying to get them as small as I can, as quickly as I can. So I let my bulgur wheat sit and cool down and once it's done this, I'm just gonna put it in a bowl. Then top with my fresh mint, parsley, coriander, cherry tomatoes and cucumber. And at this point, I've done it again, I realized, Rachel, this bowl is way too small. You are not gonna be able to mix it. So just a quick transfer it into a bigger bowl. Then I just mixed it all together to get a nice even distribution. You can make it more herby, you can use less herbs, up to you. Then I squeeze a lot of lemon on the top. Added some pink salt added some black pepper you can also add olive oil if you want to or a vinaigrette but personally for me lemon is just enough then I mix it all together and there's my tabbouleh now I'm gonna make some sweet red peppers so I've got some sweet red peppers I put them in the oven for about 30 minutes and they came out like this so I'm just gonna get rid of all the seeds and then start to slice up my sweet roasted red peppers these are so versatile, you can add them to salads, sandwiches, pastas, anything, and they are literally one of my favorite things to eat. They're just sweet and soft and nice. So I topped with a little bit of olive oil and some parsley, and then finally some black pepper. I still can't get enough of this song, guys. Because we know it goes down in the kitchen. Rachel is listening to her music. So now to make some really nice new potatoes, I'm just gonna wash them in the sink, give them a good clean, slice them up so I can get some more dimensions, just making them a little bit smaller than they were originally. And then I'm gonna add these to a pot, followed by some cool water, and then I'm gonna bring it to a stove and let it boil. Now I'm only gonna cook it for about five minutes just to soften it up so I can create some more dimensions. So after it's cooked for about five minutes, I'm just gonna drain it in the sink, add some cool water, and then put it in a cooking tray. I then use my fork to create a few more dimensions, kind of like when you make roast potatoes and you want more crispy edges. So I added some olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. And I also went in with some fresh rosemary from the garden. Put them in the oven and they come out like this, super crispy, tasty, delicious. I could just eat an endless amount of this. Then I added some spring onions as well as some parsley and some more black pepper. My obsession would be, I absolutely adore potatoes. Then I just added this to a plate. So I've got some salad, some potatoes, my red pepper, a really, really amazing looking avocado sprinkle some coriander on top and this is summer salad to me and i completely forgot the tabbouleh so then i came back and i added some tabbouleh in the middle then you just want to squeeze a bit of lemon on the top and yeah summer salad plate is this this is what makes me happy guys i also made a huge bowl out of it 
So the next one I want to share with you is using broccoli. I'm going to roast them and I love roasted broccoli. So we're going to make a roasted broccoli salad, some roasted squash and beetroot in maple. And yeah, it just comes together really nicely to make a really nice summer salad palette of food. I guess you could say that beetroots and squash aren't very summery, but hey, it's delicious, so boy. So to make my roasted beetroot and squash, I am wearing crazy gloves because I just did not want beetroot all in my fingernails. So these were the only gloves I could find in the house. So I sliced it up into little small pieces and then I cut up my squash. Used a spoon to get rid of all the insides, sliced the outsides and then cut them up into small pieces. The smaller the pieces, the quicker it's going to take to roast. Also, beetroot does take a little bit longer, so sometimes I do like to make my beetroot a little bit smaller than my squash. Then I put it all in my cooking dish, added some salt, added some pepper, added a tiny bit of olive oil, and then I added just under one tablespoon of maple syrup to add a bit of crispy sweetness. And then finally, I added some rosemary. Mix it all together. Look how juicy it looks. Then I put it in the oven for about an hour and then it came out like this. Super tasty little bites. As you can see, I went in for one. Now I'm making some roasted broccoli. So I just cut up my broccoli into small little chunks. Added them to a cooking dish. And then I cut up and sliced up some fresh garlic. I use two garlic cloves here because I like it extra garlicky. That's just my preference. And then I squeezed a whole bunch of lemon, added a little bit of olive oil, went in with some pink salt, loads of black pepper, mix it together. And then finally I added some fresh rosemary from the garden. Then I put this in the oven, not for too long, and began to make my salad. So I had some salad leaves, then I added my roasted broccoli, which was so juicy and tasty. Then I added some pine nuts, sunflower seeds, and some pomegranate seeds. I could have eaten this bowl just by itself, to be completely honest. So I added this to a plate, along with some fresh avocado, my roasted beetroot and squash, added a bit of coriander on the top and Bob's your uncle super tasty super super tasty I also did make a bowl out of it which you can see here extremely heavy-handed extremely filling super tasty so now we're gonna make like a red pepper hummus some really easy falafels and a salad to go alongside it so I really hope you guys enjoy these so let's get straight into the next one so to make my falafels I've got some chickpeas some red pepper paste cumin fresh parsley fresh coriander a bit of olive oil squeezed in a lot of lemon added some pink salt and pepper then blended it together I added about one tablespoon of chickpea flour, then mix it together. Then I made my little falafel bulbs, which I put in the oven, but not for too long. You can sprinkle olive oil on if you would like to, completely up to you. If you're avoiding oil, then obviously you don't need to. Then I wanted to make my red pepper hummus. So I roasted a red pepper for about 40 minutes. I let it cool down and then I took the skin off and then began to take the seeds out. And then to a blender, I added my chickpeas, garlic, roasted garlic will be better if you do have roasted garlic. I added my roasted red pepper, squeezed a bunch of lemon, added some tahini, added about a quarter cup of water and then I went in with a bit of paprika. I would use only about one tablespoon of sweet paprika. Then you have this really nice red pepper hummus, which just makes a bit of a change from regular hummus. I made a huge 
bowl I had salad, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, I added my falafels, red pepper hummus and I added some of the red peppers from earlier and it made this really really tasty falafel bowl. guys so much for watching this video I really hope you guys enjoyed these recipes they are very simple and obviously you can remix them however you want to remix them you can put everything on a plate and eat it like that you can pick and choose what you want to pick those are the sides that I've been making recently so I thought it'd be quite cool to share them with you so I do hope you guys enjoyed this video please please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy the recipes and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week let me know in the comments if you have your favorite summer size buddha bowl size party size to take to barbecues link ups anything like that i love to know what you guys are cooking for those kind of things so yeah just let me know in the comments and i will see you next week and obviously if you have me on instagram then you know who has been with me this weekend i will add a little preview for you guys to check it out yourselves <laughs> 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 <laughs>